A great personality, just fun and bubbly. Well spoken, dressed well, cute. And he's just always been so sweet and always thinking of me. No one's ever treated me the way he's treated me. You know, she, she's a very, very, very special girl. I'm Valentina Tran. And I'm Eric Rigotti. I'm a registered nurse in the emergency room here. Um, and I'm an accountant. We met each other. I was out with a girlfriend from work. These two girls sitting next to us, they're like, hey, can we put a chair in between us? Our friend's coming. 10 minutes later, their friend showed up and sat down next to me. It seemed like we had just kind of an instant chemistry. As they were going separate ways, her friend handed me this piece of paper and she said, don't open it till we leave. So I assumed it was her number and then I open it and it's Valentina's phone number. So I was like, oh. And then a few days after that, we had our first date. Our first real date, he picked me up from my apartment and was like, we're gonna go mini golfing. And I was thinking to myself, gosh, I'm not very good at this, <laughs> but I'm gonna really try. But I thought it was really fun and he was really sweet. I was playing soccer and I actually broke my ankle and tore some ligaments and I was on crutches for 10 weeks. She never once complained, took care of me, cooked, and that's when I knew, like, you know, she, she's a very, very, very special girl. When I went to propose, I wanted to do something very memorable. We went to our, actually our favorite breakfast spot to start, and then on the way home, we stopped at our first date. So we played some mini golf, played a little arcade games, and we passed this beautiful fountain, and I'm like, that would be perfect. And then as I go to kind of get down on one knee, like orchestra music starts playing, the fountain starts shooting up. I mean, I couldn't have planned it better. I just remember my heart just racing and being like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then I just got really teary-eyed. I actually had to fly out to California for work the following day. And I went to the little stores that they have there and they had a brides magazine. I was looking through the magazine and there was an ad for the contest just to be one of the top three, it's amazing. You know, we're kind of competitive natured people, but um, we also get along with, with anyone. So we chose the Lupus Foundation of America. Um, my dad has lupus and he's been living with it for almost 30 years. But my younger sister, Victoria, was diagnosed when she was 19 and she actually passed away two years ago at the age of 23. I've just kind of felt really lost about her, but Eric's really stepped in and he's, he's my best friend now that she's not here. Seeing her go through it was pretty, pretty rough. I've always been the independent type, not to ask for help, but hands down I needed it. And he was there for me. Obviously, we would love to win this wedding. I mean, it'd be more than a dream come true. I think it's awesome and great because I'm very indecisive. And if everyone else could decide for me, it'd be perfect. I wouldn't have to think about anything.